Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with Campaign 2, Episode 18, Part 1. This one, Whispers of War. It's the first time I actually read it. Whispers of War. We overheard people talking that a thousand plus are dead, war has begun, and we're in the middle of the victory pit. I'm guessing the end of this episode might reflect on that, or a good portion of this episode. We are still... In the victory pit. We have taken a beating. We have gotten to round three. So did Darrow and his men. The other two teams, Gunther's team, out of commission, the dwarves and the gnomes, no more. Darrow and team took, I mean, I wouldn't say losses. All I know is we have both made it to round three. Darrow is screwed up. He said it. They made it a point to say Darrow was banged up, but he seems like one of these guys I'd love to have on my team. One of these guys that runs into battle screaming like a lunatic, and even when he gets banged up, shot, stabbed, he's good to go. So I'm totally down with Darrow. We have just started round three. We go first. Darrow and team is second. There are four huge doors, and in round two, they had two beasts. In round one was one beast, then round two was two beasts. There are four doors. I thought they were correct to assume that all four doors would unleash insanity. Instead, we got one gigantic hill giant. You guys told me in the live stream that hill giants are the dumbest, least threatening of the giants, but still ridiculously powerful, tall as hell. And they made it a point to also say that thorns are giant... Things were stabbing into the thighs or the legs or the body or whatever it was of the hill giant to anger it further. So as if the hill giant wasn't big and strong and crazy looking enough, they're torturing it to be at full anger. So it just rampages like a crazy maniac and tries to kill us all. I don't honestly know if we're going to be able to defeat the hill giant. We are banged up, probably worse than Darrow and team, maybe not. We haven't lost anybody yet, but we are all really close, and we already didn't have high-level characters here. I mean, maybe the highest hit points of anybody is high 30s, maybe 40s. I can't remember everybody's statistics. I said in one of the other episodes, I wish that... They showed their statistic cards while the battle was going on. Like in Calamity, they would cycle through them and show you everyone's cards while things were progressing. But maybe they don't do this because they want you to not know. They want you to kind of be in the dark, unless you're keeping track and doing math. Maybe they don't want you to know how close they are to death. Maybe it's like, keep track if you're so curious. If not, we're letting you know nothing. But I think it'd be pretty cool, like a role-playing game, if they had their total hit points and then what they have left. And then kind of like, I don't know, like you could follow it like a game, but it might not be as exciting that way. I don't know. I've only seen it one way and I'm just wondering why they don't do that. But maybe there's reasons. You guys let me know. If not, let's just jump in. You want to see more of what I do? Full unedited episodes, all the shows on the channel, seasons edit what you're seeing, hundreds of exclusives you only see on Patreon. The link is at the end. Dozens of shows on Patreon you'll never see over here on YouTube. I just don't have time to edit it all. Campaign 2 has the hour exclusive for every episode. Tons of other things. Go check it out. If not, here we go. Campaign 2. Episode 18, part one. I forgot to adjust volume. Do I need to adjust volume? Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> oh my God. Um, so right welcome down. back. Last we left off. Right there is good. The Mighty Nine. Recap. Upon clearing their names, upon. making some, some new friendships in the city and uh, taking some time for themselves in preparation for the coming Harvest Close Festival, found themselves wandering through the streets of celebration. Uh, they partook in a number of various uh, uh, games of chance and skill, uh, got some fine snacks and foods, challenged themselves. Fine snacks got thrown and food. by their other party members. <laughs> um, Literally. Won some trinkets and toys. And then ended up See, I do it in so many different the, uh, the parts that, ends that I forget he's recapping tournament. the entire uh, episode. Where you had managed to catch a bit of, oh. a few phrases off at the side of the Subtitles big enough? Subtitles are probably big enough. Where you had discovered that apparently war had been declared by the king on the eastern region of Jorhas, uh, and that information was to be held back until the festival was over, upon which you were held below We didn't the hear a lot teams, of that conversation. One one, you were each presented into the center of the Victory Pit tournament, where each of you has to battle some sort of a, a, a challenge of, of a creature or creatures in a three-tier structure. Whoever survives all three bouts gets to share in the final pot prize. Of 2,000 two, gold. Teams have been knocked out. 2,000. It only reigns to be you and one other. And you guys are up first. 
As you're pulling so basically, nuts, even if we win, round. we still might not win. Because they said and if it's a tie, you split the purse. Behind the distant uh, doorways that lead into the central arena. You all I wouldn't be surprised if we win, if Darrow wins to too. Dusk, shouting out your various plans and then abandoning them last minute. You found places... <laughs> Just as this, we all went around the board. Yeah, we all went around. We all went around, we all went around the battle map, quaking the ground and arriving. And we are all kind of spread out. It roaring, a frenzied, angry hill giant, complete with uh, pierced, looks to be thorns. pierced thorns jammed into each side of the body to drive it to a point of absolute anger. Insanity! And fury, How horrible is that? The center of the arena knocks over. Basically one of the large torturing. Pillars. Captured and animals, beasts, hell giants. All right, this part one. I'm hoping we could get part one into the whole battle. How long could the battle be? The other battles were roughly 15, 20 minutes. I feel like we might be able to do this, and then the hour exclusive will be the rest. Twenty. Twenty. Twenty-three. Twenty. Look at that hill giant, man. That thing is massive. It's all of us combined times two or three. If you added all of us together, it'd probably be two or three times the size of all of us. Like, I'm looking. If we gathered them all to the bottom, the base of the hill giant, you could stack them three high and it'd probably be the same. All right, so I'll make your life a little easier. Okay. I can keep disadvantage. The fun buns. I dig it. The fun buns. <laughs> Alrighty, friends. So, with that, oh, man. as it finishes slamming the large pillar into the ground and wields its giant club over I said shoulder. last episode hand kind of reaching it would have been crazy if he threw the pillar or something crush somebody not you're up first is uh, is the giant in mail like do I would I get sneak attack damage or no right because he's, he's not engaged with anybody right I now. would imagine uh, well, you could right now, sneak a giant there, I I it. it's a clumsy yeah, dumb giant giant okay a well, giant I will, giant I will uh I will shriek <laughs> and I will run towards Bo. Full sprint. Oh, God. Full sprint? All right, full sprint. So not is the furthest, but now, not now. Yeah. Not now, but not was the furthest. So you know where the north is. So Shut up. That's so cool. Which way is north, by the way? Towards the this way. Okay, thank you. Awesome. People who do campaign coins make the... That's the North Pole. How awesome uh, and our friend that? Evan Rue, who did our map for the oh, show, she's the one who designed it. So. That's pretty yeah. awesome. Yeah. Look at that. So anyway, so that that's a point for you guys. If you ever like or yeah. want to make shout directions at me of where you want to run, that's helpful. The funny thing is, all it is. Sorry. So you ran. Is something laid out on the gesture. table, but it almost looks like it's got <laughs> depth to it. So good, but I can't. I can't. The, that thing is that he can see me. I'm scared. I'm scared. Sam is losing. It's okay. It's okay. Not. I'm gonna fire my crossbow. All right. Uh, I got that. This thing's gotta have some crazy hit points. Look at its arms. Its arm. It is jacked. In the audience, like way away. I was gonna say, what was the number? Because that thing's gotta have a low AC. Oh yeah. I mean, so what's the actual number? Like oh, yeah. eight. Yeah, no. Okay. Yeah, eight. Yeah, it's a pretty, it, pretty he, party. He's uh, probably party, right, though. If it's a, a broad target. Oh, target. see, that's a good uh, point, though. Matt's saying even though it's a broad will, target, <laughs> it's going to take a lot to pe to penetrate its skin. <laughs> Same place you were before? I was going to say, Talzin, when he said that, I'm like, I don't know if that would make sense. Yeah. I mean, it did make sense This is north here. halfway. North always points to the star. Oh, well, that's not that. Look at that. <laughs> Matt. Oh. Uh, Caleb, you're up. I, uh, I see this giant, just be on deck. giant behemoth, and I start backing up to go... Uh, I also uh, saw uh, that Liam uh, was on the thumbnail of this stone, episode. Uh, under my breath singing, we, so I wore uh, Caleb. The mighty nine, the mighty nine, the mighty nine. <laughs> and fire off the firebolt uh, as right. I sneak behind it. All right, so as so. you're darting around the side... Also, I believe it was Forrest the Runner... <laughs> From the uh, live stream said, that is, uh, you should wear your Caleb shirt. And I already knew that was the thumbnail, so on top of it. Not too hard to hit. 13 hits. Just hits. Uh, it's a big target, but it's pretty, pretty hardy. That is a one. 
I mean, 13 fire, ain't yeah. bad See for us. It hits a good start. It's yeah. less of a fire bolt, more of a fire. <laughs> Uh, I honestly think when this thing attacks, it's going to be like instant death if it hits. It's very, very glaring. Yeah, and I'm uh, leaning, crouching against that stone, hands on the wall, just listening and uh, uh, working on keeping my gorge from rising. Okay, got to know. Uh, Jester, you're up. Uh, Go for it. Really? Yeah, you want to. You so badly want to. You've been talking about it since we sat down. The, the, the want to use my spiritual, spiritual weapon, weapon, the lollipop. Okay, well I will. <laughs> Why? Well, you hold my, you know, symbol in my hand and do it like this, because I've seen Caleb do fancy things, and then I'm gonna make it, like it right above his face. So is he? I feel like Jester's acting very odd. Really close to his face. Why was she acting so emotional? I want to use my we my spiritual weapon. I feel like she was like for no reason overly so you can do it right emotion, but I mean it's just so face. who am I? Flat side facing Bam. him and then just uh. poof. Go for an attack, go for it. That is a big ass. As, as, I mean, as hey, it looks like the size of a giant giant lollipop. Heavy looking, but gorgeous, glittering lollipop just um, apparates out of the air, shrieking down towards the goblin's face. Goblin, goblin, the ogre's ogre, giant's face. Giant. I was gonna say, what's going on here? Sixteen hits, roll damage. Lollipop. Oh my God, they're all singing lollipop. Stand by me. That's what I think of when I hear the song lollipop. Like slipped out of my oh, hand. It doesn't yeah, count if it slips out of yeah. your hand. Ooh, you you did. Did. <laughs> Ten points of Ten damage. Points. That's my bonus for my actual. Thing. She has got Can energy today, yes, Laura did. Bailey. Yeah, I'm Jester. Look at this. Flame him. All right. So, so he's got to roll dexterity over 14. I love that the lollipop is like <laughs> a, a 14, giant size lollipop. It's minus one dex. Oh! Oh, oh, look at you, you're a killer. I'm a you're monster! You're a killer. <laughs> Eight! Eight! Nice! Yeah. 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 Brain damage! Wunderbar. All right. Wunderbar. Yes. All righty. <laughs> And the spiritual weapon's just like right here. Like on the I would right here. love if the giant could right. eat her spiritual weapon. Does, so, is that now, possible? Because I want it to be. Oh, I want the giant to roll a natural 20 oh, and eat the spiritual the weapon face, like a lollipop. Uh, with this lollipop and, and the, the flame side, and it's like. <clears throat> ducks out of the way as it slams down on its head, grabs the side of the pillar, which breaks. The pillar as it fell over kind of shattered into four or five pieces. Grabs and picks up a single piece. No. And uh, Pearls the it? only one that it paid attention to right now was Jester. It lit its stomach on fire. Oh. And it takes Caleb and, and just lobs it, it in your direction. Oh, I'm behind the stone, pressed to the back of it, though. Right. Is that correct? It might uh, knock that have, shit over. You have cover because that is what I asked. Yes. <laughs> So it's three quarters cover. So what's your armor class cover? Like? Three uh, quarters cover. Couldn't Woody Lobs break that wall down? So it's 19. Yeah. Uh, that's still the 21 to hit, though. So 21 to hit. And Caleb is low. Sorry. Bring it on. Here we go. Oh, God. Caleb is. Or Caleb so might go down. This chunk of the pillar goes flying across the arena towards you. It hits the top of the wall, which breaks like a good foot and a half section of it, just shatters oh. as it slams into Wait, your what chest. Did it do? Is it a 19? Yes. I can do a reaction, can't I? You can. I cast shield. All right. There you go. So, as you see it, slams My God. into the wall above. Does that, should that count? I don't know. How does that work? Because Matt said it slams into your chest, and then you go, all right, I cast shield. I know that wasn't head, what he no. intended. Slamming into the side uh, of the actual tournament arena. Hitting the stone, causing it to crack, and people in the front area kind of, oh. What did he Boy, what did he roll? 21. 21. Still hits. Oh. Oh, still really? hits, yeah. Because that only gets me up to 19. No, you, no, were, you were 19 plus. plus you shielded five. that. You were 19 because you had three quarters cover. Oh, because I had three quarters. Oh, I yeah, was at 19 because yeah, I didn't you were behind the wall. Five. Yeah, 14 plus 5 because you're behind. Oh, okay. So, yeah, Good. that works. Good. Okay. Um, All right, so however so they. Much. At this moment, like the, the absolute yeah. like fear kind of kicks into his eyes. I, um, I did. Caleb must have forgot that first part. But <laughs> and then right at that point, it stops and turns and. That sees, probably like, would have took Caleb out. Behind the wall and just kind a of, freaking giant hurling a freaking rock at your chest. I feel like a hill giant <laughs> whipping a piece of a pillar at you and hitting you dead center chest. I mean, it doesn't matter because he used shield. I'm up. Uh, how dumb do I feel like being? Very dumb. I'm already sweating. All right. All the dumb. Uh, Be all the dumb. I forgot to go to the bathroom. 
Hang on. <laughs> I'm hey, wiggling. You should just. That's Yasha. If it's turned towards Ford. <laughs> We're already halfway in to part one, and we've only had Ford, then I'm going two to, people go, oh three God, people go. I'm going to run around to the opposite side of it. Okay. We might barely get through one set of turns, like one most, round. And I'm going to take I'm going to take two slices into his leg. All right, take him down like an AT walker. Two shot, two, yeah, see, I didn't do it, and then you just went ahead and did it. I'm working so hard not to do it. Um, what's the flaking bonus, by the way? Uh, well, we've used it occasionally, but it works against you guys as well. Oh, because if, if you manage to be directly across from mm -hmm. a creature with an ally in melee, yeah. you get advantage on the attack. Oh, right, so this advantage on the attack. Yeah. hot again. You range last hot again. So I tried to right? do no, this when, it, yeah, when the around. sun was uh, down. You know, I'm not feeling good about that one. There we are. Well, that is, ooh, oh, ooh. that's a 25 to hit. That hits. Yeah. That so definitely that's, hits. That's double what we need. For Radiant. The Radiant no, plus. Okay. Not dead. So that's, uh, big, big man in jammer. Yeah. that's okay. four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight points of damage. Eight points of damage to the first strike. And then the next one is a natural oh, 20. Wow. Nice. Ooh. So that's. That's, uh, that's all right, that's uh, 10, 12, 13, 14 oh, okay. points of damage. 14 points yes. of damage. Okay, okay. So as the first strike you carve up alongside its kind of uh, blubbery thick belly that's kind of flipping over this piece of cloth that it has matted around its midsection, uh, as you cut through, it buckles a little bit on that one side of the leg and you use that moment to cut behind its thigh, like right kind of down below where the Achilles <laughs> tendon is and shh, as you carve across, <laughs> blood kind of spatters across the sand and <laughs> All right. Yeah, your turn? Yeah. No, I'm holding. All right, he's gonna go ahead and use a All right, action. I mean, to a giant, that's probably not too he's a frenzied crazy. Solo. Yeah, I, he's, um, he's a blood frenzied solo? What so he's gonna, he's gonna go ahead and use his uh, his frenzied furious smash. Solo. Is he, is he going to use Fury? He's going to use it. He's going to attack me. Uh, he's going to. What are they not. doing? Definitely Travis and Laura are having a moment yeah, together. Be, like I, I'm, it's inside. I don't know what's going on with yep, them. Frenzy solo. No. All right, that's right. Okay, so he has disadvantage in the attack. Yeah, and the next. One. I gotta assume it's like a Star Wars thing because he's wearing a Star Wars shirt and it's Han Solo frenzied. So I don't know. Still that's where my head's going. Yeah, that hits. Okay, that hits. So with that. As, he, as you slam and slice in the back of the leg, angrily turns back and swings down towards you, and while his eyes go black and there's a brief shake, it's still just a massive club, and you try and move out of the way, but it's too fast. Slamming onto you, knocking you onto the ground, your wind is knocked out of you, and your whole world just goes dazed and white for a moment. Um, this is gonna be... 26. Holy crap. I would imagine, though, that's how I would imagine it being. Look how tiny Molly is. 26 points of bludgeoning damage. I'm out. He's out. What? Oh, fuck. Oh, yes. oh, and Talzin literally said, how dumb should I be about this? Or something like that. Didn't he say, how dumb should I be with this? That was a really good damage roll. <laughs> um, yeah, when the lower left comes out, we're in trouble. So, so yeah. You watch as it reactively slams into Molly with the club, and Molly, as the dust settles, Molly is just not moving on the ground. Probably pushed about an inch or two Oh my god, into hammered the into the ground. Sand. That's how I There's would want it. I mean, not how I'd want it, but how I'd want it to look if that happened. Molly is not moving. That really hurt, Charlie. <laughs> that really hurt. Charlie bit me. Charlie. Oh, okay, <laughs> I feel like this just changed the plan that I had. Her, her Charlie hit, hit me. It's like Charlie bit me. I like it. <laughs> he has disadvantage on, on his next attack as well. Ford, I feel like I should get up there. I'm just saying, this is the last man standing kind of thing. Yeah. You're the only one there. That's okay. Pick the team. As long as uh, we time, take it down, I feel like we could all go down and the clerics will, yeah. okay. will save us. Natural 20. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. All right. Happy birthday to me, Henry. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> well, all right then. Well, that was the world's shittiest die roll, though. No, wait, I only get 1d4, right? It's just a d4 plus my bonus. It's 1d4 times 2 plus your bonus. Okay, your sorry, sorry, sorry. That's a better roll. That's a better roll. Uh, so, 6 plus um, 10 damage? Okay, total? 10 damage. Way too happy about that ten damage. So you do I get? I don't get enough one, right? It's just one action. Well, no, I feel like 
Um, this okay, dude, move... this hill giant, has like three, four hundred hit points. As you, as you I mean, does it? I mean, we had one at 177. The, side, you the first it. round. To the air and just sinks into its stomach. You don't even see where it impacted, except for a small red line where it's going to bleed from where it Oh my god, it's like crawl. Yeah, Reminds I me am. of the boomerang thing in a crawl. That's my turn. Okay. What was it called? The glaive. Right. Finishes, the glaive? Uh, I think it was the go. glaive. Yeah, right. Uh, I'm going to use my bonus action to cast uh, Hex Blade's Curse on this uh, giant. Yuck, yuck. Troll. <laughs> and I'm going to uh, summon my <clears throat> Waste Hunter Falchion two-handed. And I'm gonna cut into his uh, cut into his thigh. Go for it. If we keep hacking away at his legs, it nope. will it's limit its it's movement, movement. I guess. Oh, so does that mean his reaction has been burned by the legendary action? Is the legendary action a separate thing from legendary a, from actions a... are different from reaction? All right, so he still uh, got a reaction. Just checking. So he still uh, has a reaction. Hits. Didn't even do his turn so yet. As, as, as the, the large uh, falchion appears, like car uh, curved and jagged, you can see this kind of splash of seawater across the side of the giant as its eyes are now like set back on four. At this point, the curse sets in. You watch as kind of the blood spatters in the ground kind of begin to come up into these black forms and adhere to its legs. Ooh, a 13 points of damage plus two for the Hexblade's curse. Shit. 15, one. nice. Oh, All right. With my, with my speed, I'm gonna run to the north as far as 30, 30 will be I'd there. have to give this dude uh, at least 300 hit points. Hit 177 was round one. It's gotta be near double. Maybe 350, 300. <laughs> And you go to run, you get a fair distance, but the reach with that club is just far enough where it doesn't necessarily need it. And as you go charging forward, he has disadvantage because of that. Disadvantage. Because that was the last of my spell. Is it on the next ah, that makes it a 13. Armor class 15. He avoids it. My God, that would have probably took forward out. Behind, it slams into the ground. The earth like leaves your foot for a second, and you land again. He was so close. The earth-shattering right. mallet oh, lifted him off the ground. Uh, all right, that brings us to Yasha. Okay. <laughs> Not really a mallet, it's a club, uh, but... I'm gonna... Can I make it over to his... Uh, the, over east? Let's go east. Over east? Can over I east? How far can I get? Can get there. Okay. Going to his butt. Um, Going him. to his butt. His butt. I'm gonna hit him in the arse. Go for in it. the arse, magicians. Magicians judge. Magicians uh, judge. The new sword. Reckless, go for it. Oh, it's the new sword. Yeah. Okay, uh, fifteen. Yeah. Fifteen hits. Fifteen hits. Okay. So. Marisha said in the last episode how she regretted, or actually, no, it was during Talks Machina. She said how she totally didn't realize there was three rounds and used up all her key points in round two because of that. That's what she said in Talks Machina. Had no idea, didn't pay attention, or didn't understand Matt, and that there was three tiers. As you go rushing by, out of the corner of your eye, you weren't paying attention to the last impact, and you see out of the corner of your eye Molly in the ground, jammed in and unconscious, bleeding out. And that's just enough, being not in an enraged state, to kind of viscerally affect you sure. and shakes you just enough where you swing. The blade hits the leg, but it kind of it wasn't enough actual impact to carve into the flesh. Okay. That ends your turn, Yasha. Not, you're up. Not, you're up. Do we heal or do we get I honestly way? think healing... You can't, no, I mean, you can't get within reach. That yeah, cool. and I feel like if you heal Molly, I remember <laughs> doing things like this in role-playing games and the such. Shot. You start healing people and they immediately die right after you heal. Sometimes it's better to go. Twenty to hit. Twenty to hit. I feel like all-out offense is good in this situation. We're gonna die. Nine points of damage. Hey, up, guys. cool. It is adding up. You release the bolt and you watch as it kind of sinks into the chest area and looks around in the direction to try and find you. You still have 20 feet of movement. We are already over time, guys. I was going to do about 22 minutes each, and then the hour long gives us to the break. So, I'm already over 22 minutes. We couldn't even get through one round, I believe. Oh, no, we are. We're one round through. Because Sam is up. Sam started. Sam was furthest from the hill giant when we started. Ran over. Fired his bow. So, we just started the second round. We were barely able to get through one full round of all seven. This hill giant is no joke. He immediately killed Molly. Now, Molly had more than 26 hit points total, 
as a character. So Molly obviously suffered damages from previous battles. I mean, we're going from battle to battle. I don't know how many hit points Molly had at that point, but 26 takes Molly out. I wonder how close it was. Yasha, aka Ashley Johnson, was looking at Talizin's board and was going like, oh my god, making faces, leading me to believe the giant just barely got Molly. He might have been like 24 or 25 and just barely got taken out. Either way, he's bleeding out now on the ground. Not has a good question. She says, should we start healing people or should we actually just go all out attack mode and try to take this thing down? In this circumstance, I think this is the best possible situation to just go all out offensive because even if you all die, they've already told us no one's died except for one guy in 20 years. In 20 years, one man has died and it obviously was unintentional. I feel like we should just all go in offense blazing if we all get taken out and one is standing, we win. One standing and we win. We don't need to all be alive. We just need one of our guys to be standing when we take down this giant. So I think we just go out all offensive. I'm sorry, Molly, but you're going to have to bleed out for a little bit. We're probably going to lose a couple more. Ford barely avoided probably getting taken out. I don't know, guys. And even if we get out of this alive and we prevail, Darrow still can win. And then we have to split the purse. If we win, worst case scenario, we get a thousand gold. Because even if Darrow wins, you split it. It's $2,000 purse. Prize purse of 2,000 gold. We get a thousand even if Darrow wins. I almost feel like whether we win or lose, Darrow's going to win. I almost feel like Darrow is supposed to win, but... You guys told me that Matt does roll for the other team, so it isn't like Matt's gonna just decide, yup, Darrow won, or something like that. I believe, based on what you guys told me, unless I'm wrong, that Matt still rolls for Darrow and company. I don't know. You guys let me know about that one. We're gonna jump into the hour-long Patreon. You guys let me know what you think. You wanna see more of what I do, full unedited episodes, all the shows on the channel, seasons edit what you're seeing, hundreds of exclusives you only see on Patreon. The link is in front of me. Dozens of shows you'll never see on YouTube. I just don't have the time to edit it all. That's where you get the hour-long Patreon exclusive. That will continue the rest of this. And then we do part two. And then the live stream Friday. Dozens of other shows, Doctor Who, Battlestar, Person of Interest. Go check it out. If not, comments down below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.